Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Intermediate. All right, welcome back. Welcome to Intermediate Class 19. And uh, you may recall in the last class we were talking about uh, more than, more something than something else, like more intelligent. I said that my brother was more intelligent than most people I know. It's true. <clears throat> and uh, my brother is more intelligent than I am. He is. He's more intelligent than me. And uh, I asked the question, I said, is a Rolex more expensive than a Timex? And you said, yes, a Rolex is more expensive than a Timex. Is a Porsche faster than a Ford? Yes, a Porsche is faster than a Ford. Ask me if my brother is more intelligent than, let's say... Hmm. Ask me if he's more intelligent than, than most of my friends. Kyle, is your brother more intelligent than most of your friends? Yes, he is. Not that, not that my friends aren't intelligent, but my brother, I, f I think, is very, very intelligent. Yes. Ask me if Coca-Cola in Canada is more expensive than Coca-Cola in Spain. Kyle, is Coca-Cola in Canada... More expensive than Coca-Cola in Spain? No. No, it isn't. It is cheaper, actually. I think Coca-Cola in Canada is a little bit cheaper than Coca-Cola in Spain. So, no, Coca-Cola in Canada is not more expensive than Coca-Cola in Spain. Ask me if food in Canada is more expensive than food in Spain. Kyle, is food in Canada more expensive than food in Spain? No. Food in Canada is not more expensive than food in Spain. Ask me if my watch is more expensive than my pen. Is your watch, siempre en voz alta, out loud, out loud, with me, is your watch more expensive than your pen? Remember, than Ending in an N, then. My lips do not close. Make sure that your lips are not closing on the N sound. Then. My tongue goes up under, well, behind my teeth, touching the roof of my mouth, behind my teeth. But my lips do not close on the N sound. They close on the M, but they do not close on the N. Okay? Then. Then. Is your watch more expensive than your pen? Yes, my watch is more expensive than my pen. Is Spain more developed than India? Yes, Spain is more developed than India. Ask me if food in Canada... Sorry, ask me if clothes in Canada is more expensive than clothes in Spain. I should say are. Ask me if clothes in Canada are more expensive than clothes in Spain. Are clothes in Canada more expensive than clothes in Spain? Yes, clothes in Canada are maybe... Well, it, it depends. I think, I think I, I, yesterday I discussed Levi's jeans. Levi's jeans are much more expensive in Spain, or in Europe in general, than they are in Canada or anywhere in North America. It depends. It depends on what kind of clothes you're buying. Some things are more expensive in Canada than they are here, but most things are more expensive in Europe and in Spain than they are in Canada. Ask me if my neighbor is louder than I am. Is your neighbor louder than you are? Yes, my neighbor is louder than I am. Ask me if football is more fun than working. Hey, Kyle, is football more fun than working? Uh, well, I enjoy working. I enjoy making radio shows. I like it. But football is a lot of fun. Football, for most people at least, football would be considered more fun than working. It depends on your job, and it depends if you like football, I suppose. Now we had the structure. I said yesterday it's easier and easier. 
or it's getting easier and easier, or it's becoming easier and easier to learn languages. It is. It's becoming easier and easier. Cada vez más fácil. It's becoming easier and easier. It's getting easier and easier. It's easier and easier to learn languages. So you don't say each time. No, no, no. You just say it's easier and easier to learn languages. It's getting easier and easier to learn languages. It is. It's getting easier and easier to meet foreign people who want to share their language. Right? It's getting harder and harder to see donkeys in villages in Spain, I find. Yes. Is it getting easier and easier, or harder and harder, to find peseta coins in the street? It's getting harder and harder to find peseta coins in the street. Because the peseta has been discontinued. Although you still see, I, I, I found a coin last year, I found a peseta coin in the street. Yes. Is it getting easier and easier, or harder and harder, to imagine life without the internet? It's getting harder and harder to imagine life without the internet. Yeah. Is it getting easier and easier, or harder and harder, to find foreign foods in the supermarket? It's getting easier and easier to find foreign foods in the supermarket. Hmm. Is it getting easier and easier or harder and harder to see foreigners in Madrid? Foreigners, giddies like me. <laughs> yes, it well, it's getting it's getting easier and easier to see foreigners in Madrid. They're everywhere. Is it getting easier and easier or harder and harder to find English on TV? It's getting easier and easier to find English on TV, especially with Aprende Inglés TV, yes. Hmm. Is it getting easier and easier or harder and harder to see original version movies in Madrid? It's getting easier and easier to see original version movies, typically in English, in Madrid. Yes, it is. It's getting easier and easier. Is it getting easier and easier or harder and harder to find a job if you don't speak English? That's right. That's why you're listening, right? It's getting harder and harder to find a job if you don't speak English. Yeah, it's true. Okay, it's true. Yes, it's getting harder and harder to find a job if you don't speak English. It's getting more and more important to speak English. It really is, yes. Word of the day. All right, yes, it's time for our word of the day. And you're getting a little bonus feature today, listeners. It's, it's, it's your lucky day. Because we have, in fact, two words related. Profit and loss. Profit and loss. Profit, so profit, beneficios, beneficios economicas. And loss being perdidas. So a lot. So when you have the fi- you have financial statements. Now I believe it or not, I, I studied finance. My background is in finance, and and so I've dealt with a lot of financial statements. And I worked in a bank and all sorts of things before uh, hosting this show on uh, on Vaughn Radio. And I can tell you that profits. We love profits. Companies love profits. So when we say profit, because in Spanish you have the word beneficios. You say beneficios. And uh, we, we, have, we have benefits, and we also have profits. Profits are financial. Profits are, are the financial, uh, what's left from your, your revenue, ingresos, the revenue, minus the expenses, the gastos, gives you profit. Profit, which is the good stuff. What's left? The profit. Beneficios economicas. So... Profit, and then unfortunately, if it's negative, it can be a loss. Sometimes a company operates over a given period and experiences a loss. They hope to make a profit, but sometimes companies experience a loss. Sometimes companies have a loss. So profit is economical. Profit is money. Revenue minus expenses equals profit. 
whereas benefits are like non, essentially non-financial advantages of a situation. So a benefit for me of teaching English is that I get to meet a lot of interesting people. It's a benefit to this job. I love this job because I get to meet, I have the opportunity to meet a lot of interesting people. That's a benefit to my job. A benefit to my job is that I don't have to lift heavy weights or things like that. I'm using my brain and I'm using my throat, which sometimes gets dry. You notice my voice crack because I'm recording a lot of, I'm working, speaking a lot. But um, it's a benefit of the job is that I get to work with you know, work in something that I like. That's a benefit. It's a benefit of the job. And working with people that I like, it's all, it's a benefit. It's not a profit. It's a benefit. Profit is financial. Okay. Profit and loss. And then, uh, so, so we have this statement, this financial statement, which in American English, we call the income statement, income statement, where we record revenues and expenses. And at the bottom, we have a profit or unfortunately, sometimes we have a loss. And this is called the income statement. In Britain, they, I believe they often call it the, the profit and loss statement or the P&L. And you can say that if you want, but make sure you know what you're talking about. If you call it the P&L, because I've had students here in Spain who call it uh, the, uh, el, el P&L, but they don't necessarily understand what P&L means, profit and loss. But in American English, it's more common to refer to it as the income statement, which is one of the important financial statements. Did you give me a present yesterday? Answer my question. Did you give me a present yesterday? No, I didn't give you a present yesterday. I didn't give you a present. So we have the verb to give. Today I give. Yesterday I gave. Yesterday I gave. Uh, yeah, last Christmas, I gave my mother a very nice present. Do people give you presents when it's your birthday? Yes, people give me presents when it's my birthday. Did they give you presents on your last birthday? Yes, they gave me presents on my last birthday. Ask me if, my gi- if I give my, my brother presents every year. Kyle, do you give your brother presents every year? Yes, I do. I give my brother presents every year. Yes, I don't have a wife, so I don't give my wife presents because I don't have a wife. If I had a wife, I would give her presents, but I don't have a wife. Ask me if I gave my father a Christmas gift last year. Kyle, did you give your father a Christmas gift last year? Now, I'm sorry, what do you want to know? I want to know if you gave, I want to know if you gave your father a Christmas present last year. Yes, I did. Yes, I gave my father a Christmas present last year. Hmm. I gave him a gift. So to give, today I give, yesterday I gave, gave, okay? So we give something to someone. I gave, I gave my father a Christmas gift. I'm sorry, I, I, I gave, you give someone something, I should say. I gave my father a Christmas gift. I gave a Christmas gift to my father. So you can say it either way. You can say I, you give something to someone or you give someone something. Yeah. I gave my father a Christmas gift. I gave a Christmas gift to my father. But please never say to give to someone something. I, g- I gave to him a... No, 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 no. So not, not, not to him. No. I gave him something. Okay? I gave him something or I gave something to him. Okay? So entre give y someone no existe to. Eso es lo importante, ¿vale? Okay, let's move on. I think I've been giving you enough explanation of that, so it's time to move on. Vocabulary of the day. Vocabulary of the day. You're right. Yes, it is time for the vocabulary of the day. Desde cuando? Desde cuando? Since when? Since when have you been living in Spain, Kyle? Well, thank you. I've been living in Spain since 2004. Since when? Desde cuando? Rivalidad. Rivalry. 
rivalry. There's a great rivalry between Real Madrid and Barcelona. There's a great rivalry there. It is. It's wonderful. Rivalry. Rivalry. But not rrr. No rolling R, please. Rivalry. Aparecer. To appear. To appear. Rendirse. To surrender. To surrender. Carne y hueso. Flesh and blood. Flesh and blood, absolutely. Flesh and blood. All right, now we can practice an interesting structure, which is every now and again. Every now and again, because all my students know the structure from time to time. De vez en cuando. I say, how do you say de vez en cuando? And they all say, from time to time. But this is one that... Yeah, all my students know it, but native English speakers don't say it from time to time as often as my students do. You probably say that more than I do. So I'd like you to learn some new ones. I'd like you to practice with this one, which is every now and again. Now, I also say every once in a while. Every once in a while. But we will practice with that another day. That's my favorite way of saying de vez en cuando. Every once in a while. But we will practice with this one because we will we'll try every once in a while another day. But this is from every now and again. Every now and again. So uh, do you eat Chinese food every now and again? I will, give me an affirmative answer. Yes, I eat Chinese food every now and again. Do you receive a handwritten letter every now and again? Yes, I receive a handwritten letter every now and again. Do you call abroad call abroad every now and again? Yes, I call abroad every now and again. Do you swim in a lake every now and again? Yes, I swim in a lake every now and again. Do you eat callos every now and again? Yes, I eat callos every now and again. Do you listen to Elvis every now and, every now and again? Yes, I listen to Elvis every now and again. Do you watch French movies every now and again? Yes, I watch French movies every now and again. Do you watch baseball on TV? Yes, I watch baseball on TV every now and again. Do you have problems sleeping every now and again? Yes, I have problems sleeping every now and again. Not very often, but every now and again. Do you play in the snow every now and again? Yes, I play in the snow every now and again. Do you eat in Mexican restaurants every now and again? Yes, I eat in Mexican restaurants every now and again. Do you drive a sports car every now and again? Yes, I drive a sports car every now and again. All right, folks, well done. Good job today. Make sure you're always listening, paying close attention, answering out loud and both out the always. And if you have any questions, send them in to us, bauganingles.com. Send them in through the website, and we will answer you. We are here to help you, so please use the course. Make the most of it, okay? Send in your questions, study on TV, listen to the radio, study with your books, pay close attention. We're going to a commercial break. I'll be right back with the advanced class. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>